On after the last months, different countries have cautiously started to reopen schools after months of closure. However, not all experiences have been ideal. Here are a few examples. For instance, on Tuesday, elementary schools in New York began in-person instruction as part of the city's blended learning plan, which calls for students to spend some of the week in schools and the remainder learning at home online. After elementary schools, middle and high school students will return to the classrooms on October 1st in the city. New York is the largest public school district, serving more than 1 million students. Mayor Bill de Blasio delayed in-person learning at public schools twice due to staffing shortages and other difficulties arising from the coronavirus pandemic. In early September, schools across Spain reopened for in-person learning with mandatory masks, smaller classes and regular hand washing. Millions of Spanish children returned to school after a six-month break. However, within weeks, many schools had to shut down across the country again due to a surge in infections. Madrid specifically has once again become the epicenter of Spain's COVID-19 wave of infections, at least the second wave. On September 21st, schools in the South Korean capital, Seoul, resumed in-person classes for the second time since the outbreak. Most of South Korea's schools reopened in stages between 20th May and 1st June after cases in the country appeared to fall. However, schools were ordered to shut down in August end after a surge in cases across the country. And now students have returned to schools under a hybrid schedule of in-person and online classes to limit the number of people at school at any given time. Students are attending in-person classes in South Korea once or twice a week for now.